What is a remote night nanny? That's our text to nation. Joining us from Harbor is CEO and co-founder Kevin Lavelle. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Fred. Thanks for the opportunity to share a little bit more about Harbor. Well, that's what we want to hear about. Give us the overview of what Harbor <clears throat> is, much more than just a, a camera and monitor. Yes. Uh, Harbor is the most secure, reliable, and high-quality baby monitor on the market, and that's easy for anyone to claim, but we've we've built it. What we've done is combine the best of a dedicated local fail-safe monitor, a physical monitor, with all the benefits of Wi-Fi, remote access, record and rewind. We actually have a 10-inch monitor where you can watch up to four different kids at the same time and do not need internet to be able to use that monitor. Uh, and you also have all the benefits, as I said, of, of uh, Wi-Fi systems. And I started this because the leading product on the market uh, called Nanit, it's a Wi-Fi camera with an app on your phone, failed on my family overnight. And I learned the hard way that apps on phones aren't baby monitors. Uh, and so we built something much better. And then we have some really incredible telehealth offerings that we're incorporating into the product uh, that should really change parents' lives. Well, let, let's get into that a bit because baby monitors are all over the place, a wide range of prices. Uh, you can you can spend uh, probably under $100 and spend several hundred dollars and uh, different features. Some use your phone for monitoring, others have dedicated displays. So tell us how you are different. Step us through here. So when parents wanna choose a baby monitor, today they have to choose between the old school devices with the little dedicated monitors that don't work outside of your house. They only go maybe 50 to 100 feet don't have Wi-Fi, or a Wi-Fi camera with an app on your phone that doesn't have that dedicated monitor. So you can access it outside your home or inside your home, but you're, you're really confined to an app on your screen. No one has effectively merged those two systems together. And so what we have is a dedicated local 10-inch monitor uh, that works without the internet. So you can plug and play, you can use it while you're traveling, you can use it in a hotel, but also both the camera and the monitor connect to the internet so you get all the benefits of a Wi-Fi system. You get the best of both worlds uh, and the peace of mind that comes with both um, while not having to worry about the failure modalities of either of the primary types of systems today. And you are introducing a service called Remote Night Nanny. I don't know if, I don't know if that's the official name. It is. What is that? So um, <clears throat> a night nanny who comes into your home, this is a... Uh, uh, a time-tested service that's been around for a long time. You you hire somebody like a babysitter, uh, but they tend to have a lot more experience. And uh, they come into your house overnight and they help care for your child and help your child learn the skill of sleep. Effectively from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m., they are responsible for taking care of your child. And what it does is help the child learn how to sleep and also give the parents a, a much needed and well-deserved break. The reality of that is it's affordable for almost everyone. In a city like Dallas, where I live, you're talking three, 400 a night or more. City like New York or LA, you're talking 700 or more. Um, and in a lot of the country, it's really hard to find a trusted and vetted provider. And so what we're doing is we've created the remote night nanny. It's 95% of the benefit of an in-home night nanny and just 5% of the cost. You can turn over your Harbor monitor to our professionally trained night nurses who will remotely control the volume on your monitor and only wake you up when a professionally trained night nurse says, it's time for you to go in and care for your child. So very simply, if your child starts fussing or crying for a minute or two or stops, that's great. You, they're, they're learning how to sleep. That's, that's what you want. But you as a parent are awake and now may, know, may not go back to sleep for the next 30 to 60 minutes. What we can do as a remote night nanny is make sure that you don't hear that but if they're crying for more than five minutes or 10 minutes, depending on the age and stage, then we will turn that volume on and wake you up and send you through a reminder what to do next. And if you don't wake up immediately when that monitor is turned back on, we can send through a very loud alert to ensure that you are up. And because we've built the hardware and the software, we have a lot of fail safes built in that just make something like this possible uh, that's never been possible before. And obviously this is being done through the, through the, through the internet. Yes. Tell us about the people on the other end and how you vet this and 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 people would have all kinds of questions about security, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. So our system, we've designed it with security from the ground up. One of the important aspects is um, the product is not built in China and it's built with American companies, silicon. So the chips that drive the cameras 
um, are made by Amberilla and Qualcomm. These are American companies with deep, deep ties, lots of safety protocols. Um, and then the camera and monitor themselves are built um, outside of China. We also have end-to-end -end encryption. So the security here really is, um, is unprecedented in the world of, of something like a baby monitor. And then the, the folks that we're hiring to be the remote night nannies all have medical backgrounds. So these are women who have worked as pediatrician, uh, pediatric nurses, they've worked in hospitals, and they have undergone extensive training on how to help parents through those difficult sleepless nights that, that they go through. Um, our product is, do, you do not have to use the remote night nanny. If you want to get the best baby monitor in the world, you can use it. The only time that we can ever see your feed is when you grant our care team, our nurses, access to see it. And so the way that I've explained this is it's a little bit like Zoom screen share. Until you grant me access to see your screen, I could never see what's on your screen. And so it's only when you want that overnight care that we have access to your feed. And then in the morning, you turn it off and our care team is unable to see it again. So um, we have designed this from privacy and confidentiality from the ground up um, and look to find a way to, again, help parents in a scalable, affordable, accessible way that's never been possible before. We've worked with about two dozen families so far, and the results with the parents that we've worked with have really been life-changing. Parents telling us, you gave me hope to have a third child, and things like, I haven't slept this well since my first trimester. And what we've seen in parents who have worked with us in the remote night, nanny, is the first night, okay, this is a little different. I've never done anything like this before. But then the second night, they're sleeping better than they have in a really long time because not only are they not getting awoken by every cough, cry, and sniffle, also they know there's a professional on the other end who is going to help me make the best decision. So every cry that a parent hears, you're wondering, should I, shouldn't I, what should I do next? And professionals who've been doing this for a long time, they can decipher and understand, no, let's just wait. We're going to go ahead and start the timer. We're going to wait five minutes before we go in because most kids fail to learn how to sleep because their parents run in the second there's a cry. And there's a lot of really bad information out there from influencers and um, self-professed experts who say that the minute a child cries, you need to be right there holding their hand or you're going to traumatize them for the rest of their lives. That's so far from the truth. Multiple studies, rigorous studies have proven that that is not the case. And ultimately what parents need is just a little bit of help and guidance. And we're able to do that. Is there interaction that goes on at all between the remote nanny and, and the child? Uh... Not not face to face on an ongoing basis. And what we found through our trials is also that parents don't want to either. They don't want to FaceTime with somebody. They don't want to be talking to somebody. They already have a lot going on. So what we've done is every parent who goes through the program, there's a face to face, robust onboarding and consultation. Answer all the questions that they have, help them understand the system, help them understand what happens. And then each night there is a handoff through our care portal in our app. And you can also text us. If you want to get on the phone and, and talk, you can. But we find that most parents are set, ready to say, I'm handing off. Here you go. And you basically turn over the controls on the monitor. Um, and then we are textable throughout the night to answer questions on an ongoing basis as needed. Uh, but really, it's about we're only going to wake you up when it's time for you to go in. And we'll send you through the reminders on what to do next. And that kind of low touch on an ongoing basis makes it so that we can build this as a scalable solution and therefore bring the cost down to as low as $20 a night, something that's just, I mean, it's literally 5% of the cost of a traditional night nanny. Is there interaction, though, between the, the remote nanny and, and the child? Are they saying anything to the child? Are no. they playing any sounds, a lullaby, no. or anything like that? Nope. It is uh, the only interaction with the child is the parent going in and caring for the child as necessary. We do not talk to the children. They cannot hear us. There's no sounds that we do. Because ultimately, if you want to help a child sleep through the night, then there are a set of things that you should do to help them get back to sleep without interrupting their development on learning those healthy sleep habits. Also, does the harbor not system us. include any any of that tech kind of thing where they're playing sleep sounds or, or no, no. Ultimately, we we have a set of guidelines and recommendations consistent with um, the American Academy of Pediatrics Safe Sleep Guidelines around what the crib situation should be. Right, um, appropriate crib setting, firm mattress, tight fitting sheet, no bumpers, no pillows, no blankets, no nothing at an age appropriate level. 
Um, and then we have some guidelines. Um, children's rooms should be very dark and um, there should be a low static white noise. Those things help promote sleep. Um, these things that um, engage or interact with children or different noises or noises only happening at certain times is not conducive to helping up that helping set up that regular healthy sleep habit mentality. So is there an overall subscription that, that's needed beyond the night nanny for the, for the so month? when parents sign up uh, to get a harbor, they sign up for a, a one-year membership, they get a camera, a monitor and all the features associated with Harbor. There's a lot of features that are all listed out on the website. If you're interested in the remote night nanny, that is a separate cost on a per night basis. However, in 2024, we're offering a two free week extended trial to the remote night nanny for every customer based on capacity. We may run out of capacity. We're having more people sign up, but we want every parent to be able to experience this that buys the product this year. Uh, and so right now there's, there's actually no additional cost to experience the remote night nanny. Interesting. So for more information, where can people go? So our mission at Harbor is happier parents and healthier families, one restful night at a time. We want to help every parent and every child get more sleep in that vein at Harbor.co. That's H A R B O R.co. We have a ton of free resources. You don't need to sign up for anything. You don't need to be a member. You don't need to buy anything. Uh, and so I encourage everyone to go check out those resources and, and understand a little bit more about how we want to help parents. Um, that said, if you're interested in the baby monitor and you're interested in the remote night nanny, harbor.co is where you can go get uh, a harbor camera and monitor and be able to sign up for the remote night nanny. And the pricing? It's uh, $336 for the harbor system for one year. Um, and with our remote night nanny, it's free this year. And next year, uh, when we start charging, it will be as low as $20 a night. Tell us what the age range is that, that obviously newborns in the, the first few months, people tend to, to buy this kind of equipment. But how long do you envision this being useful? for? So the the camera and monitor, we find most people monitor their kids somewhere between three and a half and four and a half years because you need to monitor them when they're in their crib to know what's going on. And then when you move them to a toddler bed and then a, and, and a big kid bed, there's a whole new set of challenges that come, uh, right? They're able to get out of bed and do all sorts of things. So the, the, the scope of monitoring changes. When they're very young, you need to know if something is wrong and you need to know if you need to go into that room. As they get older, the real benefit of the monitor is your ability as a parent to check into that room without breaking, breaking the seal of the room. So most parents will will empathize and, and chuckle. You know, you hear something in the room, you open the door. It could be another 30 minutes before you're back out of the room because they want to talk. They want some water. They want you to read another book. They want you to lay with them. And so, um, you know, the example that I regularly refer to is hear that loud bang in your three-year-old's room. Oh boy, what's going on? If you can check in on a monitor really easily, you can see, oh, they just dropped a book out of their bed. I do not need to go in because if I go in, I could disrupt <laughs> I could disrupt the back to sleep process by a long time. I could be in there for a long time. Um, and so the nature of monitoring really changes. Um, the remote night nanny, developing those healthy sleep habits, really, it's kind of um you can you can start a routine as young as four weeks old. And that's not that they're going to be sleeping through the night, but you build a routine. and and we talk a lot about that at, on our website. But our ability to help parents really starts around two months old. And then once you're at seven to eight months old, there's really not much that we can do for you. The child is entirely capable of making it through the night uninterrupted, so long as there are no medical or health issues. Um, so we see our window to help parents is between two and seven or eight months old. And we envision most of the parents that we'll work with on the remote night inning, we'll work with them between one and three months. Some parents and children make progress really quickly. You don't need us anymore. For some, it's a longer process where they need more help on an ongoing basis. And given the cost for as low as $20 a night, the reality is you could work with us for three months for the same price as one in-home night nanny week, just given the dynamics of how much it costs to have someone come stay in your house. Very interesting. Well, congratulations on the innovation and the, and the use of the technology here. The website again is harbor, H-A-R-B-O-R dot C-O. 
Kevin Lavelle, thank you for taking time with us. Thank you, Fred.